The Education University of Hong Kong is working with six Cambodian universities in a World Bank-funded project to enhance education in the Southeast Asian country. Mimo Sengai tells us more. This group of students are from Cambodia. Not only that, they are Doctor of Education students at the Education University of Hong Kong under the World Bank's High Education Improvement Project, with a mission to develop teacher capacity in Cambodia's higher education. Among them, Mif is the newest student. She believes the skills and knowledge she obtains from the program can benefit herself and her students in Cambodia. I hope and I believe that after joining this program, I one I could strengthen my teaching and learning ability, especially integrating technology in my research interest, and two strengthening my research ability. After I graduate from this program, World Bank Project, and also the EDD program in EDUSK, I believe that I can put all the new technique and methodology into my subject that is writing paper or scientific writing. When asked about the difference between studying in Hong Kong and Cambodia, another student, Rolf, said Hong Kong has better resources. When I first arrived, um, I feel that everything is uh, like a, a wonder. <laughs> Like, um, like because, uh, because um, like uh, everything, like all the resources are readily available. You just have to ask and you just have to um, like access the resources uh, uh, as uh, compared to the resources I had at home, which was um, limited. And also we may need to propose yeah, for those resources. Meanwhile, Cambodia's Director General of Higher Education, Mark Noy, described the project as a strategy policy for the Cambodian government, hoping it can promote the country's higher education teacher capacity and economy. The principal of EDU Hong Kong, Stephen Jern, said not only does the partnership with universities from Belt and Road countries help teachers to enhance their skills and knowledge, but it also allows talent to arrive at the campus, fostering a diversified environment for all students. The university's graduate school has admitted 81 master's and doctoral program students from Belt and Road countries since its establishment. Apart from Cambodia, other countries include Pakistan, Indonesia and Malaysia. Mimosa Nai, TVB News.